Welcome to Toyo Studio. My name is Kendall Kessler and I'm going to do another demo painting. The last one I worked from something and I'm going to do that this time too, although it is going to be whimsical. And all these demo paintings, even though I am putting them on my portfolio, I consider them to be good art, I am also just really kind of just being whimsical and just kind of having a good time. This one I'm not sure what in the world I'm going to do. This duck here with cattails around. Not even sure where I want to start. But I do want to kind of play with the color. So I'm just going to start on the head. And even though I'm married to a naturalist who has taught me a lot about birds and butterflies, I knew just a few before I got married. But um, I'm just going to just going to play around with this. It's not going to be any particular type of duck. It's going to be kind of an imaginary duck. I'm going to put some marking around the eye there. And I'm just going to have fun with it. It's more going to be something that is just a painting rather than any kind of portrait of a duck. Let's put a little bit of eye area in there real quick. It's going to melt, bleed, of course. Let's come back to that. I'm going to do probably two stages. We'll see. As I said before, I don't like these to be real long. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm really just going to react more to the color than um, the uh, form of a duck. And already I kind of think it's doing some interesting things. Painting is such an interesting, fascinating experience. I can't imagine not being able to paint. Uh, Winston Churchill said that one time. I thought, that, that's a wonderful quote. He said, just couldn't imagine a world without paints and canvas. I looked up his work, and it's very nice. He did some wonderful landscapes. And I'm sure that helped him keep it going. You know, certainly he was a very prominent, important person. And there is nothing like painting to just really lift your spirits. And uh, most of these demos, I've just been putting the paint down and just seeing if something will come up. I call my, those my suggestion paintings. And I think they, they've come out real good. I, I really enjoy doing that because it's, it's a real experience. As I said before, the reason I started doing that and putting them on YouTubes is when I see something that's supposed to be completely abstract, I always see something in it. You gotta, it's very rare that I see a totally abstract, or what artists call non-objective, painting and not see something there. Well, still can't have to get a much smaller brush to work on the eye area and all and the bill too. So I thought I would just do that. Just put some paint up and not try to paint anything and then just see if something showed up. And so far in the demos it's happened every time. There was one I thought, oh no, I, this is definitely going to be what I call my center of my mind paintings that are totally what we call non-objective, what most people call abstract, but artists call non-objective or non-figurative. And darn, something didn't <laughs> a really nice uh, flower sunset did come up anyway, in spite of the fact that I just really didn't think anything was coming. Okay, I think I'll, well, no, I think I'll stick with this brush and do a little bit of the water part now. And I do want to have some really nice uh, ripples in this. And I'm going to keep it real coloristic. Probably put colors in that you wouldn't normally see in water, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Just really wanting to have a fun time with this one. Well, I have a fun time with all of them. But I especially wanted to not really worry about making a painting of a duck so much, which is why it's just a black and white thing I just made up and not any particular duck. Um, I know that there, one of the ones that I've learned since I got married was the Pied Bill Gree, which this doesn't look like at all. Uh, of course, everybody knows mallards. But there are so many, as my husband has <laughs> taught me about. He is quite the naturalist. As I said, if you put Clyde Kessler in Google, you will be amazed at what you come up with with all his research, even though he doesn't even have a website. Although he is on, does have a Facebook page. That's about the extent that I think he's ever going to do because he really, really doesn't want to do that much on the internet. 
Uh, I'm the one that's sitting on social media all the time, working at selling my artwork. It's uh, helped a lot. It's certainly time consuming, but I do have artwork in 32 states now in six countries and hope to keep adding to that. Lived paint, but can't take them with me, so I certainly want to sell them. Um, there, I think, are some, some artists really have a hard time with that, but uh, I think most of us, not really. And the main reason is we're always getting better. We're always trying to improve and learn new things. So even though we do that, and we always feel like there's, there's one better, always one better. So we tend to look back at the, uh, the ones that we've done, and they're okay, and there's some of them really strong, but there's always, it's always the next one. <laughs> it's going to really be great. So we do want to sell those. I've always noticed, and I told students this a lot, that if you just let it alone, come back later, lots of times they look much better because um, art really can drive you nuts if you let it. I, I truly believe that once you really get into it. First start out, it's kind of, oh, this is kind of fun. And then it gets to be quite a process. And you, you, you try so hard, you really can't get exactly what you want. You keep trying and trying, but it is a continual process of learning how to paint, and you never stop learning. Um, it's, it's in, that's the way it is in all the arts, so it can be very frustrating. But I have learned that uh, I like it too much. I'm not going to let it drive me nuts, because I just love to paint so much that no way I'm going to let that bother me. Some people, I think they give up because it's just so frustrating that you don't really ever get exactly what you want. You work hard, as I told my students, and you will get close. And that's, that's fine. That's good enough for me because I like it so much and I know other people appreciate it and want to have it. Well, not getting as whimsical as I thought I was going to in this one. I'm just going to have to see. As in all of these demos, I don't do the whole thing because I don't want them to be real long. So what I'll do is get it well started and then finish it off camera. And then please be sure to click on the link, which will be in the description, to see it in my we on my website. Getting a little more whimsical up there. Got to just put some water in and then put the cattails over top of it. The one that I did with the butterfly is super whimsical. You're never going to find a butterfly like that one. That is really, really wild. I had a fun time doing that one. This one I seem to be sticking a little more to the way things look. And I am going to essentially have the ripples and everything. It's, it's not going to be real abstract. It's not going to be that representational. As I said, most of my work is representational. Um, paintings of the Blue Ridge, paintings of people, paintings of still lifes. I do it all and I do many different levels of abstraction. Um, a lot of representational ones. My work is unique to me, but it certainly does have elements of Impressionism and Expressionism, which are my two favorite eras. But then it has my, as I said, my unique way of handling paint. Uh, get, some, get a little more whimsical here, put some purple in, see what happens. Because I, really, I might get more whimsical with this one. Um, not real happy with the color, way the colors are turning out in a more naturalistic way. Uh, I think I might get a little wilder with this one. I'll see. It's not going to be too wild right now, but um, I might I might really get real wild with it later. I have just about finished another Blue Ridge painting that I'm real happy with. Well, like I said, Real close. <laughs> Never get exactly what you want, but it's real close, and I think it's a very strong painting. Just have to do a little bit more, and I hope to get a YouTube of that up and tomorrow or the next day. I'm, I'm not sure. There's still a little bit more I need to do to it, but um, I think it is one of the stronger ones I've had for a really nice sunset, and the uh, impasto effect is real strong. Um, that's when the paint actually looks like it's coming off the surface a little bit and it's like you're you've got actual forms coming out at you that are being painted 
that are painted in the picture frame, picture plane. Get a little tongue tied there. And I think it's really very strong for that. More of the cattails and stuff. Of course, they're just barely started. Take a long time to get them completely done. And I don't think I'm going to dry this because I, I haven't put it on real heavy or real wet. As you can see, it's not bleeding so much. Some of the others I've done were just bleeding all over the place. The, paint, the paint's just causing the paper to buckle. But it's not doing that. So I think I'll just go a little further with this, get the whole thing covered, and then do most of it off camera. And I think it's going to change a whole lot because actually I'm not real crazy about the way it's coming out. So I think I'm either going to get real expressionistic with it or just add a whole lot more color into it because um, I just don't really like this so far. And to me it's never just a matter of painting something. It's always just how it looks as artwork. And I'm not real crazy about this. I think I'm going to work in some lime color because that always to me really livens things up. That way I can kind of fill in what's left. And I'm just going to keep it real loose right now. Not real descriptive. But I want to get a whole lot more contrast with the duck in the background. And right now it's kind of sinking into there. I'm starting to get a lot more interesting colors going right now. Just want to get it completely, get rid of the white, and that's probably where I'm going to quit, and then do a lot of work off camera. I'm just going to do a little more in the dock, and then I think I am just going to quit. I don't like the way it's so so blending in. So I just blended in so much into the background. So I want to do more, and I want to get more coloristic too. So I'm going to have to work on this. off camera because it's just not just not getting what I want. That's why painting always is. That's um, one of the reasons artists have a kind of a hard time finishing because um, it's not really just a, a, knowing how to do something. That's what a lot of people think. It's really good art is a balance between control and accident. There's things that the artist knows how to do. But um, you, most of the time, most artists want to take advantage of things that just kind of happen that you really weren't planning on as you're painting and then decide where they want to keep them. Now, that's not always true. Yeah, there are photorealists and there are people that want to really just get exactly what's in front of them. And that's certainly nothing wrong with that. It's not for me. But there are a lot of artists that that's what they want to do. And there are artists that will take a photograph and just reproduce it, which I can do, and I will do for people that want to commission that. But uh, what I do for myself is much more expressive. It's not a matter of reproducing something. It is a matter of creating something that I think is an interesting visual experience. And now it's starting to get good. I'm starting to see something that I like, so I might work just a tiny bit more. I think the blue-green is starting to really help. So bring out the bird a little more and really take advantage of that blue-green. So I think that with the red, I am such a red-green painter. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, I probably have, but the very famous artist Mae Stevens judged a show one time that I was in and she gave me a purchase award. And when she saw my work, when she met me, she said, ah, the red-green painter. And that certainly is true. I really, really have a thing about red-green color contrast, the two complementary colors. The others are great too, but I especially like red and green. And I also like to have a lot of blue accents in my work, especially these acrylics. I don't know why. I'm mostly an oil painter. But when I work in acrylics, I really like to get a lot of blue because it just seems to accent so well into the painting. And I might be just about done now. There's one more thing I wanted to say and I can't remember what it was. 
Oh well, I think I'm going to quit right now. And now it is going to be a matter of deciding how much form I want to pull out, how much I want to, how much of the abstraction I want to leave in, and which colors, because it's getting very, very complicated now, which is what I like. It's starting to look a whole lot better to me. I'm just not happy unless there's a lot, a lot of color. And just do more with this. Oh, I know what the one more thing I want to say that I always like to try to remember to say is that unfortunately, either because of my camera or YouTube, what you're seeing is not as strong as when I'm painting. So the, the colors always look a little washed out. Uh, they won't on my website. So be sure to click on the link that I'll have in the description of the YouTube to see the colors. Because uh, I've noticed that a lot. Um, not sure what to do about it, but I can get them right with my software on my computer to get them right. Okay, I am starting to like the painting. It took a while, but I'm starting to think it has some really nice areas going for it. Do a little more of the head because I want to pull that out more. And then I'm going to quit. And again, please be sure to click on the link of the final painting and to look at my other work. You'll see all different kinds of stuff. It's in different collections on my website. So you just click on the painting of the, of the collection and then you can see all the other paintings. All right, I'm getting too much in this now. I think I better quit so I can, not, so this won't, won't be so long, uh, but I didn't want to just get that a little bit better right through there. Okay, I do want to have the, you can see I'm having a hard time quitting. I do want to have the tail, you know, visible through the, what are going to be the cattails and not have it lost through there. Okay, I'm going to quit. Thank you for watching. Please again, be sure to click on all those different links. It's not just my website, but also on Etsy, uh, Wix, lots of different places.